what is fast becoming our favorite segment of Golden Black Live. Stuart was good. Tyler, you're, you might even be better, but well, welcome back to the show, Tyler. Trent, uh, honored to have you on, and, and uh, you, keep, you keep bringing the Boilers luck. Uh, that was a great one last week and a phenomenal football game for Purdue to beat Iowa. Oh, yeah, no, it was a fantastic game. Um, really enjoyed being there and being able to watch the Floodmakers play. How, how's your week been, I mean, in terms of how you felt? And I know you were at the Pacers on Monday night. Uh, um, how, how's that been going? Have you been hanging in? Yeah, overall, uh, it has been a pretty solid week. I would say medically, uh, for me, every day is like playing the lottery. So. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just a day to day thing and relying on the Lord for strength every day and and so so far he has uh really delivered this week and things that have you know, need to go right have gone right. So I'm just thankful for that. Yeah, we get some new new pictures on the site, uh uh somebody with the banner, Tyler Strong and uh got Stuart Schweiger too, as you know, with a great boilermaker with us today and Stuart uh, a question for Tyler, anything that you want to ask him? Yeah, Tyler, I just, first of all, I wanted to just say thank you for the encouragement and, and everything that you've brought to the, the program that I love. And, and seeing you at the games is, is just, uh, I think it's awesome for the entire community, and I give you a ton of credit. And what has been, what has been your favorite part of the season so far, I, besides, let's say this, besides the Ohio State Buckeyes win, what, what has excited you about this season and about the players? You know, I, I just love um... – uh, I would say, you know, you're really taking a lot away from me not being able to choose Ohio State. <laughs> but um, just really enjoy um, seeing how the team has kind of rallied together and really embraced what it means to be a Boilermaker and kind of taking that to heart. And uh, really, um, you know, I love just the leadership of Jeff Brom and uh, how he has led this team and, uh, just being able to see him work with these guys and just really uh, create um, men who are, you know, worthy of um, being called a boilermaker. I think it's just been a it's been a lot of fun to see and just uh, super thankful for for that um, and just everything that he brings to this program. You know, yeah, I was gonna say, Tyler, you have absolutely defined that term. You know, I think it's got more play because you brought to the table of what it means to be a Boilermaker. Stewart's got a, has a, a frame of reference. He knows what he, he thinks it means, uh, but you have articulated it so perfectly in terms of the, the Purdue family, and that's been, a, been one of the great blessings of things that you've brought to the table. Now, now the Boilermakers, uh, you know, you, you had that great win over Ohio State. You didn't have the great, didn't play as well against Michigan State, obviously didn't win. They got it done last week. What do you see tomorrow in the, up at Minnesota? Does that game worry you, or um, how do you look at it? You know, um, it doesn't necessarily worry me as much as the Michigan State game did initially um, going into it. I think, uh, you know, we have, you know, the Boilermakers have never. Uh, Whoop, did we lose and, and so I think. You know, them getting a win is going to getting a win there would be huge. Um, but this Minnesota team lost to Illinois last week, a game that you know they should have won. Because Illinois is uh, not that great of a football team, and I think anyone with two eyes will tell you that. Um, so, um, so yeah, no, I I think Purdue should definitely win. Um, and I think you know you know just as Brom says. Every weekend is a playoff game, and um, if we don't treat as such, uh, we could be in some trouble. Um, but uh, as long as we go into it, go into the game with the mind of, hey, this is a playoff game. Big Tim West is on the line. You know, bull eligibility is is on the line. Uh, you know, let's get out, get out there and get a win. Um, make sure that we can keep the, that eligibility going. So we should be good to go. I think. Tyler, what, what player this season has impressed you the most? I'm sorry? What, what player this season has impressed you the most? Um, I th this season, you know, I, uh, I would say easily Rondell Moore. Uh, we all knew he was going to be a good player, but 
I don't think we all, anyone that really knew he was going to be this good of a player and just, you know, his ability to uh, run and break tackles after the catch has really opened up a lot for, for Terry Wright and Isaac Zico and really opened up our offense and, uh, you know, allowed us to do things on offense that I don't even think Brom thought that they could have done on offense initially. Yeah, it's good analysis, and I think that there's a lot of truth to that. Though David Blau and uh, DJ Knox have to have a very special place in your heart, just to uh, – uh, two guys, two leaders on this team, two uh, obviously great individuals. Talk about them and, and your experiences with, with those guys and what they've said about you, uh, et cetera. How has, that, uh, how has that helped you? Yeah, I know. Uh, you know, Knox and Blau are both absolutely fantastic, uh, fantastic guys. And, you know, I can't say enough good things about them. Um, really really encompass what it means to be a be a boiler maker um and just you know david even you know on on the espn game day piece him you know saying that i'm what it means to be a boiler maker uh, i've talked about this previously um means meant just so much to me you know brought tears to my eyes and it's something i will hold on to forever for sure hey tyler i want to know you know i'd probably take take advantage of the fact that I've just been in a NF, or a football locker room for 22 years. How was it for you to go in that locker room, in that atmosphere? What surprised you? What did you see you probably didn't think you were going to see? How was that whole that whole event for you? It was really, really special. Uh, to play it down or even set, really physically set foot on the field or even you know, contribute to the game in any way physically. So being for them to so graciously allow me to come into the locker room and celebrate the win with them um, was really, really cool and really, really special, something that definitely doesn't happen every single day um, and something that I will remember forever. And you, uh, I think the thing is in this world is you uh, – what you give, uh, you're you're getting back. But uh, what they're giving to you, they're getting back so much in return. I'm talking about the the Purdue players, just in terms of having that thing. Do you think this year could be uh, just because of your <coughs> your situation and what you brought? It's almost becoming magical on a national level. Obviously, you've had a lot of national attention and people uh, wanting to tell your story, but. Uh, What's the next chapter? I mean, what do you think? What do you think? You know, for this football team, uh, you know, where do you think it can go? You know, I don't want to. I don't want to get people's hopes up too, too, too much, um, or cast any lots uh, too quickly. Um, but you know, like I said, you know, the Big Ten, uh, Big Ten West eligibility is still, still on the line, and. Uh, and so as long as we keep getting wins, then, you know, that eligibility is still there. We're going to need some help, obviously, from uh, some Northwestern losses. Um, so that's definitely something to keep an eye on. Um, but, you know, I think, you know, I think anything less than a bowl game uh, would be a disappointment in my mind, um, especially with the our main schedule uh, with Indiana left and Minnesota still left. Uh, Wisconsin is definitely going to be a tougher opponent, and not and someone to uh, not overlook. Um, but I would say, you know, upcoming, uh, you know, that's definitely those are two things to keep in the back of, keep in the back of your mind, uh, keep your eye on. So you know, anything can happen. Uh, it is college football, so you know, we'll see. Have you heard from any of the guys this week, or Coach Brom at all? It was in, in, in obviously busy time for everybody, but uh, that connection that you guys have built, uh, uh, how often are you hearing from them? You know, I have not heard from them. Um, I was actually planning on sending a text um, to, to Coach Brom later today, just telling him that you know I was going to be praying for him and his team this weekend, and... Um, just letting them know that, you know, our whole family are definitely going to be watching come Saturday and uh, screaming, from, screaming from my room and cheering them on. So. And I'll bet money he's going to answer that text. I had one, and, and I, Stuart, I have one more question. I want to ask okay. also about your 
about your found the the Center for Cancer Research. You've done such so many great things. Jimmy V has come forward with ESPN, Riley, but the, the Purdue Center for Cancer Research. Uh, that endowment uh, and, and the Walther match has really taken off like wildfire. What has all that meant to you? I mean, just this that response, not only in prayers and love towards you, but also people making a commitment to, to you know, building, building that legacy of, of research and, and all the things that are going on at Purdue and around the world to help battle cancer. You know, it's, it's so amazing. Um, when they... Uh, you know, told me that the endowment has now raised over $116,000 for cancer research. You know, that's something that will last forever um, and really, you know, brought tears to my eyes. And I'm not necessarily a very emotional person by nature. And so, um, you know, anyone in my family will tell you if, if you know, I'm brought to tears or, you know, there's, if there's some, some form of emotion that is, emitted from me, then it's uh, something that's really, really special and means a lot. Um, and so when they, they told me that earlier um, in the week, you know, I was um, just completely blown away just because, you know, that that's going to go uh, go towards, you know, help, help, hopefully helping save people's lives one day. Um, and, you know, you know uh, there's a fun you know, we need money to fund research, and without research, you know, we won't be able to find a cure for cancer. And unfortunately, more, more and more families will have to be put in the hard position that my family has been put in when it comes to, you know, battling cancer. So just super thankful that uh, I'm able to help contribute to possibly stopping that and bringing awareness to that. Done that more than you'll ever, ever know. Stuart, what time for one, one more question? And I want to do say before we let you go, you always have a standing invitation on this show to break to break down the next game. But Stuart, go ahead. All right, Ty. Well, again, I just want to say what you're doing I think is absolutely amazing, not only for cancer survivors, people with cancer, Purdue University, and everyone that's ever been associated with the with the program. Now, here's a question, and now it might be a tough one. If you could have dinner with any former boiler, coach, doesn't matter what sport it is, dead or alive, who are you going out to dinner with and why? Um, it would easily be Drew Brees um, because Drew is someone that I have grown up idolizing and uh, just someone that I strive to be more like, um, not only as a man, but as a human being. You know, um, you know, he is, I think, of all the people, when I think of Boilermaker, you know, I think of Drew Brees just because of, you know, he was told time and time again that he was uh, never going to make it. And, you know, through hard work and determination, you know, he's now one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. And so I think it would easily be Drew Brees. Uh, great answer, tough question. And you didn't say Stuart Schweiger. <laughs> and I, because he would take – he'd go to dinner with you, Tyler, in, in, in a minute. So uh, – but uh, <laughs> let's hope that that opportunity presents itself for you. Thanks so much for your time. And uh, – uh, we wish you the best, and we're thankful for our time with you and all that you're doing. We'll also, we have a link on our site for those that want to give. We've had a lot of donors from Gold and Black that have, that have been involved with the, the, uh, the Tyler Trent uh, Research Endowment with the Purdue Center for Cancer Research. We'll get that back up there for people to, to donate, certainly after the show. So we're going to take it two minutes. I want to thank Stuart Schweigert also for joining us today. We'll bring Brian Newbert in, talk a little basketball, a little recruiting, a little football. Uh, as we'll do our third and final segment on Golden Black Live. <laughs>